desperate shift uh, uh, in the game, game and then and an even, even more spectacular, spectacular bust. bust. Now in this video, I'm going to be brutally honest with you. The equity markets in US is increasingly looking expensive. Now, are they in bubble territory? I'm not too sure about that. That is what Kara Khan, that is what Jeremy Quantum right now is claiming it to be. But what I can share with you is that the US equity markets, because of its stellar companies, because of these top companies like Tesla, Amazon, Apple, Square, they are pulling out a lot of weaker companies because when the tide rises, the good ones rise, everybody's expectations rise. And very usually, people are looking out for the next big thing that resembles like them. Now, if I wanted to make this video to attract your attention and attract many people's attention, I'll simply be saying, buy these three stocks that will outperform Tesla in 2021. Buy these three stocks to triple or 10 times your money in 2021. I'll be using these titles, but these titles are not helpful. They want to lure you into this fear of missing out, which I'll touch on in a while. I want to seriously help you become a better investor. That's why I'm giving you messages that are contrary to what you hear that are being popularized on social media. Now, social media feeds on popularity, correct? What is mentioned on social media may not be always correct. So keep that in mind. I know you follow this channel, you'll be introduced to other channels. But if you do realize things that have a lot of thumbs up have popularity, things that people comment a lot have a lot of popularity and they get shared further. And that builds a group think, which means everybody thinks alike, nobody is thinking critically. And when there is danger, nobody sees it that's why everybody falls off the cliff it's happened to our parents generation it's happened to our grandparents generation our parents and grandparents generation also had group thing in their style let me share with you, you know, in 1929 the stock market crashed correct there's a story this famous investor he realized that markets were very frothy indeed simply because he was receiving advice from a shoe shining boy that story is echoed along the ages i've heard of it a very long time ago i've always kept it close to heart which means if someone shining shoes is making money on the stock market, just throwing and, and treating a casino and being rewarded in the near term, does it mean that the market has indeed become too one directional? Everybody is thinking alike. If a shoe shining boy who's unqualified is giving advice as of that generation, today's shoe shining boys are those that are running YouTube channels like myself. I could be one, think very carefully whether I am indeed preaching wrong information or not. There are even people on Instagram, on TikTok, dishing out advice without thinking too much deeper and without being qualified. So that's, that's a lot of froth. That is today's shoe shining boys. Right now, these days, there's so much talk about disruptive innovation potential. Correct? It's being thrown around so much. And I'm in the fund sales space, which means I can share with you something. Within my industry, I'm seeing a lot of fund managers launching products with disruption or innovation within fund titles in the last one, two years. And through my experience in this industry, I can share with you also that when this is a sign, it goes to show things are very trendy, things are very hot. Things in terms of the valuation for that space is usually very rich already. Retail investors are among the last to get invested. And what I can share with you is based on my experience in 2010, where commodity markets were so hot, there were so many funds being launched. You know, uh, soft commodities are like wheat and corn, and the story behind it was great also. Chinese consumption, Chinese middle class growing, then they want more wheat, they want more pork, etc. etc. So the story also worked. There was also a recent price surge also, which also validated the story. And many investors were blind to the risk and invested in commodity funds, which eventually tanked. So think very carefully. Is disruption and innovation really that permanent? It may not be the case. It right now seems like the holy grail. I understand that. But think very critically, things have shown across history that there will be a new thing that gets people excited. We can't keep talking about disruptive innovation for the next three, five years. It gets people bored. So if you think along the lines, you know things are getting frothy, things are getting expensive, simply because in the fund sales space, there's a lot of hype about it already. But if you're a tech firm, you are in this space of disruptive innovation, like Airbnb disrupting hotel chains, then maybe it's a great time to IPO actually. But if you sell out, that means a new investor is buying in. They are usually buying in at high valuation. If you are looking to bring your company to IPO, do you want to say low valuation or high valuation? You're savvy, right? Which means you want to sell at the top. You don't want to sell to new investors cheap. It doesn't make sense. It's your baby. You grew the company. In a lot of ways, this has also proven why 2020 has seen an, a high number of IPO in US. I think it's one of the highest. I don't have exact data, but you know, uh, Airbnb quickly jumped on bank when you're going to do IPO. There's so many IPOs going in US. Things that 
are jumping on this bandwagon quickly list and bring in new investors to get invested with them. IPO is, has proven to be very uh, smart signal as to where markets are expensive. Again, I would like to reinforce, markets are expensive, doesn't mean you crash tomorrow. Don't get that, in, don't get that twisted wrongly. When it crash, nobody knows. Does the market, is the market surely going up? Actually, nobody knows. The thing is, nobody knows where the market is going in the next one or three months. I'd like to reinforce also, there are now hilarious mistakes being made by new investors. If you have seen this, uh, there is actually, Elon Musk actually tweeted something about Signal and then a company with the Signal, which is a medical company if I'm not wrong, actually saw a share price shoot up. That is hilarious. A new investor can't even get the name correct, needless to say, look, put time to look at the books. If you buy a company, every investor looks at the books. If you look at Shark Tank, I follow Shark Tank quite a bit because to me it's a good entrepreneurial business channel, a business show. And then on Shark Tank, everybody talks about valuation, understanding a business. And nobody talks about just potential and they're not caring about what the price is because that doesn't make sense. And always, back to the point whereby, you know, not doing enough research. In 2020, it's already proven when Zoom was getting popular, another company with the name Zoom actually saw a share price shoot up also. Investors have made this mistake over and over again. New investors, they simply cannot be bothered to even check carefully first before buying. It's fingers first, then thinking. We should not be acting on impulse. And the reason is because there's a lot of reinforcement in recent results that have caused them to think that way. Why put time to understanding numbers when you can just punt and make money, correct? So that's a shortcut that we all love, but unfortunately will not work out. So I'll be sharing with you in a while how you can defeat fear of missing out. And before you get there, let me introduce you to today's sponsor for the video, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community and within it, you get many masterclasses of different types. For example, if you want to do a video like this yourself, you can get actually masterclass on video editing as well as storytelling. Not only that, if you want, for example, master classes that can help you with motivation clarity, you actually look for some of the top staff picks. And this is actually on Michelle B. I've actually seen her YouTube channel and Michelle has a lot of information along that lines. And look at the reviews at the bottom over there. Fantastic, correct? So with it, for, for the first 1,000, we'll click on links below. You can actually get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership. The fear of missing out. This feeling, how to defeat it. Fear of missing out actually is going to affect everybody, me included. Fear of missing out simply happens because, you know, for example, using Bitcoin, you, you looked at it when it was 20,000, but right now it's 50,000. You regret not buying it back then. You have earned yourself a 250% gain, correct? So right now you're thinking, Bitcoin 50,000, I have to get in. I cannot miss out another 250%. What if it gets to 125,000? You feel awful making the same mistake again. So fear of missing out has a lot of links with regret aversion. Regret aversion simply means that you have this previous experience, this awful feeling of missing it out, and you don't want it to happen to you again. You don't want it to eat you alive. And this happens to everybody. So remember, take note of it, conquer it. Fear of missing out, you know, nowadays, these days, even in my channel, you look, there are people who say, I made five times in Tesla stock price. I made 10 times in Bitcoin price. I'm so clever, but usually they don't give you the full picture. You look at their comment, they look like very smart. They give some, some further information to back it up. And you think they're the real, real juice of things. But it's not often the case. They don't tell you the full picture. They just give you a number that how much they've made. They make you feel awful. And a lot of times, social media, we just make ourselves awful comparing against each other for no apparent reason. Hopefully, this video touches you at the right time. Leave a like because I prepared this especially to help you be better for 2021. For this year, my key advice, stay critical avoid the noise, do things differently, do things slower. Maybe that's going to help you a lot. If you wanted to invest, invest slower. There's no need to rush. There's no fear of missing out. It's not like this, this company comes, there's not going to be another company that's as good at it for the next 50 years. That is absolutely not true. Mankind, trust mankind, we are all equally good. So with that, don't regret missing out on a big thing. Stay safe, stay savvy, think differently, go slow. That's the key message for 2021. Hopefully it helps you. Take care and goodbye.